Sandokan is healed by Chin Hu and defies the White Raja by blowing up a clandestine consignment of rifles. Yanis, Marianne, and Kamamuri set out to find the tiger. Fighting monks. You were up before the sun, Bushi. All night long, I've been dreaming about the man who wants to kill me. Since he hates me so much, he obviously knows me well. If I find him, I'll discover who I am. That is true, and that is why I will take you to him. Wait a minute. Do you know him? Oh, no, I never saw him. But I know the fat man who was with him. In southern China, everyone knows Fokien, lord of the triad of the red dragon. All the good things from our land, all the good people, he takes for himself. Do you know what he gives back in exchange, Bushi? Blood. Everyone knows him, but nobody says his name, because the penalty for doing so is death. But you're not afraid of him, though, are you? Nobody of the group who fights him is afraid of him. Who are these brave people? A small group of dedicated monks, Bushi. You are going to meet them. Ah, pure spring water. Delicious. Please have some rice, too. Thank you. Who are those men? Ah. The red dragons! You there, peasant! We're hungry! Go get us something good to eat and make it fast! At once! At once! Look over there! It's one of those cursed monks! After him! You didn't live up to your side of the bargain, Raja. The rifles I promised you were delivered, Fukien. Then, unfortunately, they were destroyed. Destroyed by an enemy of yours that you were too foolish to finish off, and you know it. It's, it's true, Fukien, I didn't manage to kill him, but he was about to kill you. And I stopped him. Well, let's call this one even, but you're still in my power, and I can squash you like a bug if I want. <laughs> You'll find I don't die quite that easily. And besides, where would you get more repeating rifles from if you kill me? I don't need your repeating rifles. No one can stop my red Oh, exalted uh. one. These three guards returned to camp without their horses. How did you lose them in a dice game? A shaven-headed man in a yellow robe attacked us and stole them. Mm, one of those monks we know all too well. He looked like a monk, your magnificence, but he fought like ten devils. Quiet, you fools! You'll pay for my three lost horses with your wretched lives! I believe you were telling me how invincible your men are. <laughs> Have patience, exalted one. It might still be useful. I have a new proposal for you, Raja. This is my territory. But for years, a number of battling monks have been challenging my power. Their monastery is somewhere in these mountains, hidden by blankets of mist. No one has ever been able to find it. How does that concern me? Since you are so clever, I thought you might like to find it for me. In exchange for what? Double your weight in gold, but if you fail, Raja, you'll give me your ship and a hundred cases of rifles. Start gathering your gold, Fukien. It's as good as in my pocket. Why are you going to Taishan? Actually, we're looking for a friend who we lost track of a while back. You know Taishan? We've never been there before, but... Well, then you'd better be careful. Many people have disappeared there. Not an easy road. Yes, but at least we know for sure it will lead us to Taishan. Is that where we're going? Taishan? 
Yes, that is where we will find the red dragon. You certainly have good endurance for a man of your age. It is because I breathe, live, and think Tai Chi. But isn't Tai Chi only used for fighting? Tai Chi is a great deal more than just fighting. If you practice it for many years, you will learn to feel the Chi. Chi? Chi is the energy of the world, and it flows through everything. Breathe it, and you will feel its strength. I'd be happy to try it. But I don't even know how to begin, Master. I know, Pushi. It will take many years before you understand. <gasps> Master, get behind me! <gasps> you broke that boulder with your bare hands! No, Pushi. I breathed in chi, and it broke itself. <laughs> I have a lot more to learn about Tai Chi. Ah, your excellent water really cuts the dust after a long journey. You come from far away? Yes, from the renowned and holy monastery at Urakawa. Oh. You mean we come from Japan? Ah, from Japan? What are you doing in these parts? We seek a heroic band of monks who challenge the evil Fukien. I've never heard that name at all. Hey, who do you think you're trying to... Uh, we appreciate your caution, good man, but we are expected at their hidden monastery. I have no idea what you're talking about. Your discretion is highly praiseworthy. Farewell. Maso, sayonara! <laughs> Where'd they go? Who? Those three cursed uh, Japanese monks! Uh, if you know what's good for you, you won't try to protect them. They are Fukien's enemies. This is great yeah. honor for us. If Fukien considers us his enemies, he must be afraid of us. If Fukien oh. fears no one, prepare to die! Yeah. Oh, oh. The mark of a wise man is that he is always prepared to die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please wait. Take this, my friends, and may the gods protect you in your journey. <laughs> Sayonara! Oh, we looked like a bunch of idiots. They were supposed to fake their punches. What did they think they were doing? That big fat slob almost killed me. I could strangle them all with one hand. And then Fukien would squash you like a buck. We are here to follow orders even if we don't understand them. That way lies the great road to Taishan. What's over there? The dwellings of Fukien's enemies. You mean the fighting monks? Yes. Their monastery is hidden in a thick veil of mist. Do they practice Tai Chi too? They live Tai Chi. Are they as good at it as you are? <laughs> Let us say almost as good. I must admit, the White Raja's plan is clever. The three of us seem as harmless as pile of old leaves, but in reality, we're like a poisonous oh, snake. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> three very dangerous men. <laughs> Greetings to you, brother. We are monks from Urakawa. We search for justice and live on little. Uh, oh, oh. You live on little, but you enjoy every bit of it. Our brother here has taken solemn vow to enjoy everything he oh. eats. Oh. Very frugal. Leaves, pebbles, very good. Oh. That is a very honorable vow indeed. And what vow has your other brother taken? Ah, brother Mati has taken very solemn vow too, that of perpetual silence. A vow most praiseworthy. Now you take us to monastery. I'll mention you to the brothers, and if they agree, I'll send word. I've had enough of this pantomime. Oh! That is a very wise decision. I commend you, brother. <laughs> Look out! Ah. 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 You are a lucky man! A bite from that snake and you would never have seen Monastery again. It seems I owe you my life, brother. But you carry weapons. That is against the rules. Our Monastery in Urakawa has different rules, but we always fight injustice. Oh, 
Well, in that case, I'll certainly take you to the monastery. <laughs> it will be a great honor to meet your master. Unfortunately, our master has not been with us for many years now. It's not far now. You'll be safer if you cut through the woods. Are you gonna leave us now? We're having such a good time! Where we're going is no place for fun and games. Come on, Kamamori. I'm ready. Someone's coming. Hide, quickly. Huh. <sighs> Which cart has the silks? This one, illustrious lord. Let me have a look. I want to see if your merchandise is as good as they say. Here, illustrious lord, the best Shantung silk. Hmm. Excellent. Worthy of an emperor. And at a very good price. I couldn't agree with you more since I'm not paying a penny for it. I'm confiscating your entire load. Oh. But, sire... Uh. Uh. <laughs> Take all the bolts to the palace. If they please me, maybe I'll pay you next time. But, sire, if you don't pay me, there won't be a next time. I won't be able to buy another load. <gasps> If there's one thing I hate, it's a man who grovels! Uh, no! Don't hurt my father! You disobedient brat! I'll skewer you! <laughs> no! No, please! Take all our silk, Lord, but spare my child! Hmm. How can you give me what's already mine, foolish woman? Hmm. No! Oh. <laughs> off the cart and stay down. We'll draw them away from you. What'll happen to you? Don't worry about us. We're used to having adventures. Now! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, my friends! We must go now. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> well, if it's the silk they're after, then let's give it to them. <laughs> Two in the dungeons and call the torturer. <laughs> in the valley, there are twelve mounted horsemen and two men on foot. One is very young. How do you know that? Very simple. By the sound of their steps. Of course, I should have known. I know those two. And that's her! the girl who appeared to me in my vision. So, the woman who is in your heart really exists. I must free her. No, <laughs> stay where you are. If you breathe chi or whatever you call it, nobody can stop us. Tai Chi does not make him any mortal. You might overcome the 12 horsemen, but a bullet would still kill you. Then what can we do, master? The leader of those cutthroats is Fukien. We will follow in silence and wait our chance. It's easy to get lost here. Be sure to keep a hand on the rope. <coughs> I must protect my throat from the cold and damp. Where we came. 
And tell the Raja we have good news for him. He will be well rewarded for our work today. Mati! Mati! What are you doing? We have no time to lose. We've lost Mati. I go take a look. If you let go of the yarn, you get lost too. Bukian has brought his captives back to his lair. A lair full of armed men. We should have attacked them before. I knew it. The sun was out before. In the dark, a hunter can slip past a thousand enemies. <sighs> Marianne, I should have known. <gasps> ah, like they say, birds of a feather flock together. Hmm. Are these more of your enemies? What can I tell you, Fukien? A man's power is measured by his enemies. Well, if you like, you can applaud the torturer's art on the man and the boy. As for the young lady... She's yours, I know. A splendid trophy indeed. You came here looking for Sandokan, didn't you, you little fool? Well, now you're Fukien's slave, and nothing can save you. We found it! We found it! Ooh! We found the secret monastery! Well, Fukien? Fukien always keeps his word. You'll have your gold. Things are different now. The gold is not enough. I want the girl, too. Let this be a lesson to you, Kamamori. Girls live longer. Hmm. I'm warning you, Raja. My patience has almost reached its limit. And I'm warning you, Fukien. My men were the ones who discovered the monastery. And unless I order them to, they won't reveal how to get there, not even under torture. So if you insist on keeping the girl, you can consider our deal null and void. <laughs> Very well, Raja. Mount up! They must be riding out to attack someone. And the man in the mask is going with them. Do not be concerned about him. There will be few guards tonight in Taishan, and we can free the woman of your heart. She is in the prison on the cliff. Open! Alarm! Run, Bushi! I will take care of the guards. You go get your woman. See if I have this straight. She's my wife, he's my son, and you're my older brother. What? what? Huh? Uh, stay here. Everything going, Sandokan? Sand 
Yes, Yannis. I've got a thousand things to tell you all. Fukien will come back soon. We must hurry. Oh, don't worry about him. He's off to conquer a monastery. If Fukien has discovered the monastery of the fighting monks, this is terrible news. We must bring help. Do you know how to get there? Yes, better than anyone else I know. <laughs> <laughs> 